This video is for the Harvest Right vacuum pump filter system. We actually just used a few different components and I tried different things and this is the best solution I came up with. I purchased everything off of Amazon. This filter here is the input filter which grabs the big particles. I used the silicon hose which is much better quality and plus you can see through it and it doesn't deteriorate like the other hoses do. The pump, I just used a regular El Cheapo pump. This is for a sprayer and it actually pumps the best. I actually tried a fuel pump but it didn't work as well. This is a fuel filter for diesel and it's uh, overkill. It's really good volume. You can see through it to see if the oil is contaminated and what to separate and has a drain plug on the bottom. The power supply is a 30 amp 12 volt power supply which is overkill too but it's cheap enough. Here's the whole system. First thing it does, it drains from the bottom of the pump. Goes through and goes through the first filter. This catches anything that's large. It is a 50 mesh screen and it catches large particles only so it doesn't contaminate the pump or anything. Then it goes to the pump. It's supposed to pump 1.1 gallons a minute, um, which it probably does half that. You know how China specs are. And the filter is an overkill, very large. It, has, it separates water and it has a drain on the bottom. Excellent filter. Then it goes up to the top. It has a T15 on the top. This is so that you can unscrew the top plug to fill the vacuum pump with new oil when you drain it from the bottom. Now the power supply, I attach the power supply underneath the cart. I just took double sticky tape and just stuck it right up there. That's how the pump gets its power. Next we're getting ready to plug it in. We're plugging in the system. Now it's pumping the fluid from the output of the pump through the filter system and then to the top of the pump. Uh, you only let it run for maybe 10 minutes, 15 minutes. It does an excellent job in that particular time. Next, the filter itself uh, it separates the water or the contaminants and the only thing you have to do is look at the bottom and if it's cloudy it's contaminated that means it's got to be removed and if it's cloudy on the bottom the only thing you do is turn that little screw and it drains out if you want to drain your entire system or anything the only thing you have to do is turn that screw and you can drain your system you just turn on the pump and just Put a bucket underneath and drain it. This is the conclusion of the video. I hope this is helpful. Uh, so thank you for watching.